Hey you guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing out QVC makeup. I am so excited for this one, purely because I have a ton of products in front of me that I've been dying to try for the longest time. I've got Tarte, I've got Neod, I've got It Cosmetics, I've got Pixie. We've got a whole lot of fun stuff to throw on my face today, so let's get into it. All right, let's do this. So first of all, what I have is the Neod Photography Fluid. I tried out one of these in just some other like regular full face of first impressions, but I think I got the wrong color. This stuff is basically meant to be like Photoshop for your face. It's meant to blur everything out and make you look hella glowy, which I'm all about. So like I said, I hope this is the right color. Yeah, that's way better. The other one I had is like super tan. Let's see. So it looks like this. Oh, okay. Wow, that is... I thought it was gonna be like a soft focus, but that is shiny. <gasps> okay. I'm excited about this. Okay, let's let's throw it on. I don't know how much you're meant to use. That's a lot. That's a lot. Blend that into my skin. Oh Lord. Oh my God, that has just made my skin look so friggin' glowy. On its own, it's a bit too much even for me, but okay, I can definitely see why this is called the photography fluid because my skin looks nice in person, but in the viewfinder, I'm looking glowy. I'm looking a bit more airbrushed. I'm digging that. So then another exciting product, pretty much everything that I'm gonna be trying out today is gonna be an exciting product because I've literally picked out products I've wanted to try for the longest time. So next thing we have is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation. Hoping I have the right shade. Um, I had to kind of like eyeball it, but I'm sure it'll be close enough. I'm sure it'll be fine. So it looks like this. Actually a bigger bottle than I thought it was gonna be. I thought the bottle was gonna be a bit smaller. Looks passable. We'll see what it looks like on my skin. So I'm just gonna take some of that on the brush. Like I'm looking at this brush and this for me would be like a powder brush that I would set my face with. I wouldn't normally use like a cream foundation with this. But it's going on quite nicely actually. Not gonna lie, I was skeptical of this brush but it's actually applying my foundation really, really quickly. It's probably because it's so freaking huge, just like the side of my face. The only other foundation that I've tried is the Shape Tape, which I do really, really like. But I've heard a lot about other heart foundations and so far, this definitely isn't disappointing. It actually looks really, really nice on the skin. It's kind of like a semi-matte finish, but obviously because you've got the Neod um, Photography Fluid underneath, you've got like a bit of a glow coming through as well. So then I have two different concealers. I thought one could be a good under eye concealer, one could be a good spot one. So what I have is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream in the shade Honeycomb. And then I also have the Mali See The Light Concealer. I'd never heard of Mali before, but I have a few products from them today. I remember what this was. This to me, because they have little videos on QVC, this looked a lot like Bye Bye Under Eye. So I had to pick it up, I had to get it. So I've got mine in the shade medium. I'm gonna apply it like I would Bye Bye Under Eye. Feels very, very similar straight away. I think this actually, yeah, this actually came with a little brush as well. This is, doesn't say, but this is just like a little kind of fluffy brush. I'll apply it with my fingers on one side and then I'll apply it with this on the other. I'm gonna kind of like bring up any excess just on my lid. Okay, it's quite similar to Bye Bye Under Eye in terms of coverage and everything. Bye Bye Under Eye is a lot more oily though, which I personally tend to prefer because it does kind of help to conceal my fine lines under my eyes. This one is just a little bit more matte, which I know a lot of people will prefer because I know people don't like like oily concealers under their eyes or anything. But yeah, that's still, it's giving me some decent coverage. Yeah, no, much better if you use your finger. This could be though, a really nice highlighter brush. May have to try that out in a second, but yeah. That for concealer, I'm just noticing it's like taking away some of the coverage. It's not looking as smooth, it's taking longer. I'm going back in my finger. I am. Doing it the old fashioned way. Doing it the way I know. Yeah, I think I prefer Bye Bye Under Eye, which they do actually stock on QVC, but if you do like more matte products under the eyes, because Bye Bye Under Eye is very, very, very oily, you might like this. So then we'll move on to this Becca concealer. This one is in the shade Honeycomb and it looks like a pretty good match. Feels quite creamy. Very, very, very thick. Just a heads up, but 
Colour doesn't look too bad, so I'm going to use my um, concealer buffer brush from Zoeva. And I'm going to go like around my nose, and my chin, and I'm just going to kind of press all of that in. Again, just find it gives me a little bit more coverage. Okay, that's pretty intense. It doesn't look like nothing on the skin. It does kind of look like you have got something on your face, which doesn't bother me because let's face it, I'm definitely not going with the natural look with the hair, the contacts, the tan. Okay, that's actually got some banging coverage. And by the way, you guys, they do also stock Becca highlighters. I so nearly got the Chrissy Teigen um, Becca palette, but I wanted to try out like a highlighter that I hadn't tried out before because I know that Becca highlighters are insane. But just a heads up, they have the Chrissy Teigen palette. I may have to get it myself. I might actually see what it can kind of do for me under my eyes as well. Like, yo, this stuff is intense. Hell to the yeah. You can see it is a little bit more oily. Just a heads up, that doesn't bother me at all. I actually kind of prefer it, like I said, but just a heads up. It is like a shiny, oily concealer, but damn. Coverage, yes. Okay, this concealer might just make its way into my everyday makeup bag now because that is some next level coverage. So next up is the Beauty Bakery Powder. And guys, I'm actually so excited to use this. I'm never excited about powders, but this I've been waiting for for literally months now. Every time I've tried to buy this, it's been out of stock. I mean, can we just talk about the cute ass packaging for a minute? It's like a little bag of flour. So this is what it looks like. And as some of you may remember, I did actually try out the banana powder variation of this a few months ago now, maybe six months or so ago. And I liked it. It was just a little bit too dark for me. So that's why I've been so excited for this guy. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes first. Whoa. That is mattifying, okay. I'm like, I'm like nervous to use this powder because I've been waiting for it for so long. It's not like, Changing the color of my concealer or anything, which is good. So far, so good. Okay, we're still, we're still looking glowy so far. Like there's still like a nice little bit of shine to my under eyes, but not like, not like a shine, but it still looks like my skin. It doesn't look like overly powdered down or anything. And then I'm just gonna go in with a bigger fluffy brush and just set all of that. I can never like fully decide the first time I'm using a powder, but I know I don't dislike it, which is a good start because normally, you guys know, I don't like too many powders. I can see there is already a bit of creasing here on the corner of my mouth, but that's a fairly normal thing for me. I love that you can still see the glow through the foundation and the powder. Like there's still like a nice little shine on my cheekbone. It's got potential. So next, I think it's time we sort out these brows. So I actually have two products for my brows today. The first one is the Doll 10 Arch Master thing. I don't know what this is actually. But this is just like, ooh, that's super hard, which is actually what I prefer. And that looks like a good color. Okay, so this is just like an eyebrow pencil nib thing. And then what is this? Okay, it's one of those powder things as well, which I don't normally love, but I'll give it a go. Although that does look pretty subtle. I can get on board with that. And then on this side, I'm guessing you have a brow gel. Ooh, Look how tiny that spoolie is. So I've got that, and then I've also got the Kaylin Jaluxe Eyebrow in the shade Oak. This actually came with this guy here, this Linus. This came as like a duo, but I'm just gonna be using this for a minute. So that's what that looks like, nice packaging. It's kind of like one of those, pull it out, stick it in there, and then you've got the product underneath. You get me? That brush is very thick. Yeah, I'm gonna use another brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some hair like strokes. Okay, that's a lot warmer than my own brows. That is super opaque. Like that's actually giving me hair like strokes. The color is pretty not right, but the product seems to be good. Let's switch back to this guy quickly. So this is the pencil from Doll 10. Use that on its side to kind of sharpen out my brow. Yeah, that's a way better color. It's a bit more of like a natural finish. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little bit more sheer. The more I'm looking at that gel brow, the more I'm like, Steph, that is way too like red for you. But I do really like the product. May have to get another color actually. I thought this was gonna be the right color for me, but apparently not. It's like I'm digging the effect on this brow more, but this color is just so much better. This color just, it's not working for me. Let's be real here, but 
I really, really like how the product kind of like looks on my brows. I'm then gonna go ahead and take the brow gel stuff. Hopefully this is an okay color. Yeah, that looks good enough to me. Oh, I love that spoolie. That's like, why don't brands do more spoolies to size? Because this makes so much more sense to me. So next we're gonna move on to contouring. So for that, I have the It Cosmetics You Sculpted Universal Contouring Palette for face and body. And it also came with the uh, Heavenly Luxe You Sculpted Contour and Highlight Brush. So let's open that up. This looks a lot like the NARS Eater Brush, which I really like, although this one's actually way softer. So as you can see, you've got six different powders. You have a soft contour, light contour, medium contour, and deep contour. And then you have a matte highlight and a radiance highlight, which if I swatch that... Okay, yeah, that is more of like a radiance highlight. It's not like a shimmer or anything. But if you're into like a kind of sheen as opposed to a shimmer, it's nice enough. I'm like trying to suss out which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go in with the soft contour first. I feel like, I feel like I need a shade in between these two here. I'm gonna go in with the soft contour. Let's just see what that will do. Okay, I was actually expecting that to not show up, but that's definitely there. Go ahead and put some like around my forehead. I'm curious as to how dark the deep contour is gonna be now. Shall I try it? I'm just doing like a little tap, a little tap. Just like try and focus it. Oh, okay, that's quite dark. Okay, that is, yep, it's pretty dark. So then I think I'm gonna go in with the light contour shade, which, I mean, in all honesty, it looks a little bit pinky to me. I don't know about you guys, but that looks a little bit like peachy. That one's a lot warmer. Kind of looks like I've got blush on my forehead now. Let's go ahead and try the medium contour, which is like the other shade we haven't used yet and see what this can do. <sighs> huh. Hmm. The soft contour was nice enough, the lightest one here, but the other ones, I'm just like, what have you done? So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stick to the soft contour shade. So next up, I have a bunch of different highlighters that I am so excited to smother all over my face. So the first thing I have is the Mali Effortlessly Airbrushed Highlighter Trio. I've swatched all of these and they're actually Oh, freaking insane. Let me just open this up for you. So inside you get three highlighters and you also get this double-ended brush, which it would make more sense if the concealer came with this brush, cause it's kind of like a foundation and concealer brush. And then if the highlighters came with the other brush, that would kind of make more sense in my mind. No, why do I always do that in every video? But let's face it, that's not the reason why we're excited about these highlighters. I'm just gonna show you guys. This is the more pinky one. This is in the shade Sunrise. Literally just like one little swirl. I'm then gonna show you guys Moon Dust. Yep. Yep, how have I not heard of this before? And then this one, Stardust. What the hell? So I'll just pop them there and like look how Look at that. These two shades, like especially this one here. We need that one on my face, don't we? Yes, we do. So my usual Zoeva highlighting brush is currently in the wash, so we're gonna have to cope with that today. So I am actually gonna just wipe this guy off and give this other Mali brush a try because it does look fairly similar to my Zoeva brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a few little taps of that. Makes quite a big dent in the pan. So these highlighters are very, very soft. Let's see what this looks like. Hell yeah. Okay, that is really friggin' pretty. That is so nice. And this brush works for highlighter. I'm then actually gonna take that little kind of like concealer brush that it comes with and oh my God, are you joking me? Why have I not heard of this brand? Like, am I just super slow on finding out about them or have you guys heard of them? Because, that is a stunning highlight. All right, so before I go ahead and douse my face in those guys, I also have another highlight to try. This is from Laura Geller. This is the baked highlighter in the shade Portofino. And by the way, that also came in a little set. So you get the highlighter, you also get this guy, which is the baked body frosting all over glow in the shade Sugar Glow. I might have to put that on my face as well. I was just planning on putting that on my body. 
but that might have to go on my face too. And then it also came with this weird little sponge applicator, which I don't really understand, but all right. So I'm just gonna take the same brush as before and let's see what you can do. See what you can do, Laura Geller. Oh my God, this is so icy. I wasn't expecting it to be that icy. I prefer highlighters that don't look as icy as this, but whoa. So I feel like this is too much all over my face. I find that I just start looking like, I don't even know what, but on the high points, that is really nice. Right, let's try the other one, the all over body. This seems a bit more warm toned. Yeah, that's more my color. Oh my God, that is beautiful all over the body. You know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of this guy here and wait for it, wait for it. There she is. Oh my God, I am living for those two on my body. Like, oh, so shiny. So next for eyes, I have another product from It Cosmetics. This is the Naturally Pretty Matte Luxe Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. So it looks like that. You've got a bunch of neutrals and you've also got like a few little pops of color. You've got like a purple, you've got a blue, you've got a black. So I'm assuming these are all matte. And then what you have here is the transforming, transforming shadow or something. Transform any matte shadow into a pearl shadow, dip your favorite brush first into your choice of matte shade, then tap your brush into transform transforming pearl shade and apply. Huh, might have to give that a go. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sheer Joy and apply that all over my lid. When they say Sheer Joy, they weren't lying because that is very sheer. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go in with the warmth shade, I think. I don't wanna like blind you guys with a reflection here, but I'm gonna go in with the warmth shade. Blend that into my crease. That literally just kind of like shapes my eye out a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Sunrise with the same brush. I'm using a Zoeva 224. And I'm gonna buff that kind of slightly below the crease. I'm then gonna go ahead and take this brush here from Iconic and I'm gonna pick up that mocha shade, the one that I think looks quite olivey. And what should I do? I'm gonna put that all over my lid but leaving the inner corner clean, I think. Just wet my brush a little bit and try it like that. Way more pigmented when they're wet but it definitely doesn't blend out as easy. Maybe I'll take a bit of Java. It's kind of like a purpley, purpley dark brown. And I'll pop that on the outer corner. All right, next, let's give this weird little transforming pearl thing a go. So I think I'm gonna go in with, I'm afraid, uh, Love, which is like a light kind of pale pink shade. So we go in with that, apparently. I'm just taking a, little duo fiber brush. And then you go in with Transforming Pearl. So dip that there. Let's see what happens. Okay. I don't really understand. Like this palette, this one that's blinding you right now, it's nice enough just as a matte palette. I feel like if you wanna add shimmers in there, add a shimmer because this transforming pearl thing doesn't really seem to be doing much. And I feel like if you were to dip all of these different colors in here, that's gonna fully like mess up this like pearly shade. So I don't really understand. I just don't understand. So next I'll move on to mascara. I don't have any false lashes today. So instead I'm gonna use three different mascaras apparently. So again, this came as a set. It's the Pixie by Petra. Uh, what do we have here? The Black Lacquer Lash Primer, three in one apparently. We also have the Lengthy Fiber Mascara and the Lower Lash Mascara. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with the Lash Primer. I um, don't know if you guys can see, but you've got kind of like a slightly bent wand, plastic bristles. They're quite short bristles as well, which is what I like. Yeah, that's nice. Add a little bit of volume, nice and black. I wouldn't say it's overly, overly lengthening, but it's got like a nice curl to it as well. Then, then, I'm gonna go in with this fiber thingy. 
Okay, this is just like a regular mascara, but it has got little fiber bits in it. So don't think you need to use that mascara before you use this. Let's try them together though. Let's see if that adds some length as well, because my lashes are still wet. Okay, that's adding a little bit of length, nothing crazy, but I'm still liking the result. My lashes still look long, they look curled, they look black. So then I'm gonna go in with this guy, the lower lash mascara. I'm not sure I've ever, yeah, I don't think I've ever had a lower lash mascara. It seems like very fancy to me. Oh my God. That is the tiniest wand I think I've ever seen for a mascara. Let's try this. Okay, yeah, this little wand is a freaking game changer. All right guys, so I'm now gonna go ahead, do the other eye and I will check back with you for the lips. All right, so next we move on to lips. So for that, I have the Julep It's Whipped Matte Lip Mousse in the shade Ooh La La. It's like a nudie pink, I think. It's got like a little kind of like hourglass doe foot. As you can see, it's very, very pigmented, very opaque. Let's give it a go. That feels really, really nice on my lips. I know that's like a, possibly a weird thing to say, but it feels really, really comfortable so far. Quite easy to line my lips with as well. Yeah, I love that. I wouldn't say it's anything like a soft matte lip cream, which is what I thought it was gonna be like. Um, soft matte lip creams are a lot more matte. This is definitely more of like a satin cream finish, but I love it. I'm obsessed with that. So this is the finished look and overall, I'm actually really, really happy with how it turned out. There are a few products that I was maybe like a little disappointed in, like for example, this palette. It was kind of there, but kind of not. The formula was fine, absolutely fine. So if you are after this kind of palette, the formula's nice. It's just not what I really hoped for. And then also, ooh, both from It Cosmetics. Also the You Sculpted palette, I was a bit like, not amazing, so we'll probably pass on those, but I'm pretty sure like everything else was kind of great. As always, you guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below, and let me know if you've actually tried out any of the products that I tried out today. Let me know your thoughts. What did you like? What didn't you like? I don't actually think I've said it on camera yet, depending on when this video goes up, but we recently hit 200,000 subscribers, which even, oh, I hate myself, even saying that number, it makes me well up because it's like, that's a whole lot of people. That is a whole lot of people. So yeah, I just wanted to hop on camera because I know not all of you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which you can find up here if you're not following me, what are you doing? But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much and screw you for making me cry. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.